Now, the big thing, of course, on international investors' minds when they look at Russia is the possibility of more U.S. sanctions, specifically sanctions on new sovereign debt, but also sanctions that could affect Russian state banks. If Russian state banks are cut from dollar transactions, will the ra- Russian banking system survive? I think so. I think so. Uh, of course, uh, it will be a very negative uh, impact on the banking system. But, first of all, I not believe in such uh, tough scenario. Maybe one or two banks uh, will be in the final list of uh, sanctions. Maybe. But not the six, uh, seven state banks, because it will be the real negative precedent not only for Russia, but for uh, financial global financial uh, system uh, at all. Uh, and uh, if uh, uh, this scenario, separate sanctions for two, three uh, banks uh, will be uh, in uh, final uh, law, of course, uh, Bank of Russia and banking system has internal instruments to shift some payments uh, in internal uh, payments uh, system inside Russia. But even if only in the end the sanctions affect one or two banks, like Spare Bank, for example, wouldn't, bank. wouldn't smaller banks wouldn't the spillover effect be quite great given the trade financing that these banks do? What would be the global spillover effect? Uh, global floor for Russian uh, banks, uh, it's movement of the clients from uh, these banks to another ones. And uh, some Russian banks had this experience uh, after uh, 2014 year. And uh, again, there are some internal mechanism already uh, in... Uh, uh, in work, which uh, will be like damper for uh, this step. What should the government and the central bank do in the event that we got these sanctions from the U.S. affecting state banks? Uh, of course, uh, we have uh, very small influence on political decisions. But in, what would you uh, capital, like to see? Uh, uh, hill. Uh, what from, should the Russian government and central bank do? Uh, Russian government and the Bank of Russia already made some uh, instruments. Uh, it's a uh, special payments uh, system between central bank and biggest uh, Russian banks. Ten biggest banks has uh, our own uh, systems of uh, payments uh, combined the uh, big part of uh, Russian uh, economy. And there are, for example, uh, internal processing in Russia already uh, done uh, during last three years. I don't think that uh, there are some more uh, steps need for uh, stability of banking uh, system. And uh, Russia, as you know, uh, now have a budget surplus. Mm-hmm. So there are resources for maybe non-direct uh, support for... Uh, banks or enterprises uh, which are under potential uh, sanctions. But my point of view, again, that the hard scenario which uh, was announced some uh, uh, senators and uh, uh, members of uh, Congress, uh, this scenario is not the uh, main way uh, for next two, three months. So If that hard scenario came to pass, and I know you don't expect it, but if it happened, could there be a collapse of the financial system in Russia? No. 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 Okay, just a quick question on Ot Critier as well. It was nationalized a year ago, followed by two banks that are also partially your responsibility. Are you happy with the pace of the rescue? Yeah, it's a very quick uh, way. Uh, We, as Ot Critier, already had approximately... uh, 100 million dollars uh, net profit uh, after half a year on international standard. We fully organized the all group, not only banking group, but also insurance and uh, non-state pension funds in a uh, big financial uh, group. It's a very clear balance now and good uh, capital. Uh, and uh, very important that we divided the assets between, let's say, healthy bank, Atkritia, and bed, uh, bank of bad uh, assets, it's a trust bank. 
and this uh, dividing give us good way to uh, first of all for normal banking business yeah. and the second one for recovery or, or of non-profile uh, assets.